What is up YouTube? Venthros here coming at you with another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial and today we are going to talk about triggering something to happen after a boss battle. In today's lesson we're actually just going to have a treasure chest appear but you can use the same uh, steps to maybe make a door open, uh, whatever, whatever you want to do. So without any ado whatsoever, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I've got a small map here, and I have the player character starting down here. Uh, let's uh, make sure you're in event editing mode, and let's make a new event here. And we'll call this Slime Boss. And let's give him a graphic of a slime. He's under Monster 2, and we're going to use this one right here. and for now we'll hit OK because what we actually have to do first is we have to make the troop for your boss fight so go up here to your database and go up here to troops and we're gonna change the maximum so we can have a 31 here so we'll just increase it by one and now you have this blank troop go ahead and click that and you can see there's nothing here we'll call this slime boss and we'll just add one slime and we'll kind of slide them up here nice oops give me one second here you see I have to kind of play around with these windows alright sorry about that um, so now we have a troop for the slime boss so let's open this event back up double click here and we want battle processing and we want a direct designation of the slime boss and leave everything else alone so when you trigger the event you're going to fight the boss second thing we want to do is we want to turn a control switch on and we'll call it defeated slime boss and we want to make sure that that's on so at the conclusion of this battle the control switch will turn on and that's really all we have to do sorry about that alright now the next thing we need to do is let's make a treasure chest so right click use the quick event creation and make the treasure chest and for now let's just make it have 50 gold in it and we're not done but I just wanted to put all the pieces in play uh, in place rather so let's double click the treasure chest and we'll make it so that the treasure chest only appears when the defeated slime boss tr switch is on. And that's fine. Everything is fine the way it is. If you have more than one switch, just make sure that you pick the right switch here. And hit OK. And then here we're going to create a new event page. Which is pretty much going to get rid of the event. Uh, switch also defeated slime boss that makes sure that the slime boss isn't still there after you defeat him and this was that's it I mean this is a very easy tutorial here uh, let's try it out so I'm gonna walk up here and I'm gonna trigger the event there's the slime boss. So the slime is dead, and we should see him go away, and the treasure chest appears. 50 G's. All right, that's it. That was very easy. Uh, use this same sort of technique to do, you know, have a door open, have something appear. Um, you can even you can even do that to trigger a second boss battle right after that one 
Uh, feel free to experiment, but uh, very easy uh, to do there. And before I go, I just wanted to um, thank you guys again for all of your support. Uh, we are over 500 subscribers as of today, which is the 18th of July. And I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, guys, keep sending me your requests. Uh, I've been writing the ones down that I want to do videos of. So when you guys message me or comment, uh, I am paying attention and I am writing this stuff down. And stay tuned for more RPG Maker tutorials. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.